Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What's up you guys? Cloudy back again with a new reaction. Uh, this time we have Ruby Volume 2 Chapter 10. Mountain Glen Fixed. That's the name of the episode, as always, suggested by... And uh, let's get it! General. Arm was that well, of course. So logically, you got out of bed, dressed yourself completely, and decided to gaze menacingly out into the distance. What's wrong? I've trusted him for years. We both have. I just... I can't help but feel like he's keeping us in the dark. Don't be ridiculous. You know very well that we are not the ones in the dark. <laughs> that makes it worse. I refuse to believe that a man I trust for so long would act so passively. You're a good person, James. You've always done what you think is best for the people. Even against strong protest, it's admirable. But it's high time you stopped talking about trust and started showing it. Ospin has experience that the rest of us lack. And I think that's something worth remembering. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, the girls are on the What? Headshot. No? Blake, are you awake? Yeah. Why do you think he asked us about being a huntress? Like, what was he trying to say? Maybe he was just curious. You think? Yeah. No. Hmm. Liz, <laughs> are you awake? Of course I'm awake. You were talking. <laughs> and I think he... When I said I wanted to honor my family's name, I meant it. But it's not what you think. I'm not stupid. I'm fully aware of what my father has done with the Shnee Dust Company. Since he took control, our business has operated in a moral gray area. Yeah. That's putting it lightly. Which is why I feel the need to make things right. If I had taken a job in Atlas, it wouldn't have changed anything. Mm. My father was not the start of our name, and I refused to let him be the end of it. All my life, I fought for what I thought was right. I had a partner named Adam, more of a mentor, actually. He always assured me that what we were doing would make the world a better place. But of course, his idea of a perfect future turned out to be not perfect for everyone. I joined the academy because I knew huntsmen and huntresses were regarded as the most noble warriors in the world. I'm always fighting for good. I never really thought past that. When I leave the academy, what will I... How can I induce so many years of hate? I'm sure you'll figure it out. You're not one to back down from a challenge, Blake. But I am! I do it all the time. When you learned I was a faunus, I didn't know what to do, so I ran. When I realized my oldest partner had become a monster, I ran. Even my semblance... I was born with the ability to leave behind a shadow of myself. An empty copy that takes the hit while I run away. At least you two have something that drives you. I've just kind of always gone with the flow, you know? And that's fine. I mean, that's who I am. But how long can I really do that for? I want to be a huntress. Not really because I want to be a hero but because I want the adventure. I want a life where I won't know what tomorrow will bring, and that'll be a good thing. 
Being a huntress just happens to line up with that. I'm not like Ruby. She's always wanted to be a huntress. It's like she said, ever since she was a kid, she dreamt about being the heroes in the books, helping people and saving the day, and never asking for anything else in return. Even when she couldn't fight, she knew that's what she wanted to do. That's why she trained so hard to get where she is today. Well, she's still just a kid. She's only two years younger. We're all kids. Well, mm. not anymore. I mean, look where we are. In the middle of a war zone and armed to the teeth. It's the life we chose. It's a job. We all had this romanticized vision of being a huntress in our heads. But at the end of the day, it's a job to protect the people. And whatever we want, will have to come second. Sup, dog? Uh, huh? It's why it's late. It's why, yeah. It's why, it's why. Oh. <sighs> He needed to pee, man. Relax. That's why this is a wasteland. You literally could have done that anywhere. Oh. What was what? I thought I heard a bail. Something. Mm -hmm. Let's just finish our patrol and get back to base. This place gives me the creeps. Really, huh? Your leader may be in trouble. You think? Oh. Hey, be careful. Try to do close to the moon. We never really knew how many robots he got. Oh no. 
Do you think she fell? Fell? Oh. Down there. Oh my. Of course. Of course, of course, of course! What is it? How could I be so stupid? Dr. Ublek, what's wrong? Perfect plan! Yes! An expansion fail that was inevitably destroyed by Christus Grimm, previously home to thousands of people, working people, commuting to the city, the main city, developed a subway system to the inner city. Grimm's attacks increase, population in danger, now desperately searching for shelter. The city evacuates into metro tunnels, and what do they find? The southeast quadrant of Vale is known for wild horse and deep caves! Duck, what are you saying? My dear, we're not just looking for an underground crime network, we're looking for an underground crime network! They've been working in caves? No, no, Mountain Glen was Vale's first serious attempt at expansion. It worked for a short period of time, thanks to an aggressive perimeter defense and unique transportation. The city developed an elaborate subway system to carry citizens safely from the new territory into the main kingdom. Sadly, without the many natural barriers Vale had to protect its borders, Mountain Glen was doomed from the start. As the end drew near, the citizens of the territory made one last attempt at survival. They took up shelter beneath the city. Oh. Massive caves that they had cleared out for the subway, and they had cut themselves off from the surface. An underground village? In a matter of speaking, yes. A uh, safe haven. Until an explosion opened the mouth of another cavern, filled with subterranean grip. After that, the kingdom officially sealed off the tunnels, creating the world's largest tomb. If Ruby is down there, we must find her. Oh! Hmm. Cool! So that was his his coffee cup or whatever it is, is also his weapon. That's nice. Very nice. Wow, it's starting to get really exciting. Uh no? Yes. Um, I think... Well, I think I have like two or three more episodes after this one. Thoughts? Yeah, I have like two or three episodes after this one. Two, I think. Uh, interesting. Very good, uh, very good... Uh, Episode. This this was cool. Uh, I wonder what the general and Glenda was her name. The professor, one of the professors, Glenda, right? Glen Glenda or something like that. I wonder what Ospin knows that they don't. It feels like he's hiding something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and the general who feels that way. Anyway, pretty cool episode, as I said. Thank you guys for suggesting it. Uh, take care, and I see you in the next one.